Yeah, so Gary, obviously, 3-2 win to Salford today. Actually, the game went really first off. I thought, uh, being honest with you, just to sweep it up in one statement, I thought it was the toughest league game that I've seen down here for four years and obviously come to as many games as I have. I felt that we were under pressure all the way through. I felt that though we had to hang in the game in parts. I thought you looked strong and organised and compact. And it felt, you know, obviously, with your, your supporters as well, you brought a brilliant support. Um, it felt like a really big game for us. We are obviously a club that, you know, four years ago we were getting... 120 people watching us so for us that's our biggest ever league crowd 3,500 you know thanks largely to obviously the big following that you've brought and a lot of Salford fans coming as well it was it's probably one of the best days that we've had down here that in terms of it felt like a real big day for us I know for you it's normal you know these types of things but for us as a football club we're still young uh, in the sense of this level and uh, first half I just thought it was a real struggle the game I thought the game was how it should be you know in two teams who are competing to try and get to a, near the top of a league, which is obviously what both of us want, then you, 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 no quarters given. And I thought that you were, like I say, in the game all the time. I thought we were in the game all the time. It was always going to come down to moments. Who takes those moments? And just to be honest with you, our first goal was a good one. Uh, and our last goal was a, was a cracker, to be honest with you. It was a fantastic goal and, and that obviously made a difference. But I think football at this level, it's about... You know, mistakes obviously sometimes I think we made a couple for other goals uh, but then you'll I'm sure look at it the same way and think that you make mistakes for our goals um, On the travelling support what did you make of that today from the away fans? The travelling support? No, I thought it was a fantastic support to be honest with you I mean we, we, we're we actually at a point whereby we're not capable of taking any more fans at this moment in time because we've never been able to prove you, you know, to, to step up in your, and you get your fans licence and your, 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 the necessary permissions you have to show that you can actually handle this many fans and you're the biggest support that we've ever had down here. I mean, Halifax obviously brought a few. Stockport County have brought a few over the years. FC United have, but that's the biggest support I've seen from an away club. Uh, and, you know, you, before the game, your players going up to your fans and, 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 and seeing them, and obviously your manager as well. You know, you bring the fans with you on the journey. And like I say, it's a disappointing day for me in the end because of what happened with the result, but it was, it, you know, you had, you had a great support. And, uh, just about just back on the self, what do you think is the best thing about watching Salford for you? For me, the best thing about watching Salford for the last four years is that it feels real, feels like committed fans, committed players, committed uh, the committee members of the club who run and operate the club are committed. Everybody's committed. It just feels like a family. Uh, you know, the fan base is growing with us, but everybody loves it coming down here to watch. You know, even my kids are a good example. My kids don't like going watching the Premier League matches. My wife doesn't like going watching the Premier League matches. It's too big. And then they come down here, they absolutely love it. You know, they absolutely love it down here, and so they come down this afternoon, they have a great day, they're here now, obviously, uh, watching. Um, it just feels like, you know, you can hear every shout, you can hear every um, fan shout, you can hear, or you can see fans. I mean, up until last season, we had fans drinking in the stands, which was brilliant. You know, fans could come and have a drink, they could relax. Um, now it's different, they're not allowed to drink in the stands, but still we've got a fan zone behind there, we need to improve our away facilities, but like I said, this football club, if I, if I could have brought you here four years ago, you would not have believed what you could see and what you could see today, so from from our point of view, we're delighted with the growth of the club, but we've still got a long way to go. What are aspirations to sell for long term? The aspirations long term were always at the beginning to get into the football league, um, and this is our first stab at it. You know, it's a massive challenge for us, and I think today, even though we've won, you know, we've seen what challenges in front of us in terms of how tough every game's going to be. We, I went to Sutton last Saturday away, tough really tough Gate said the Tuesday before it's tough we lost at Sutton and Gate said the Leighton Orient game here first game of the season Halifax on Tuesday night we scraped past them 2-1 and it was tough and I've not seen a game yet you're thinking gosh surely there'll be a game where we can get a couple of goals clear but it doesn't feel like that's going to come because every team's really committed I think because obviously as well I'm not just saying it, but teams do seem to want to beat us more because I think there's a, obviously the, uh, the publicity that we get maybe and the sort of... But do you know something? For all the publicity, when you come down here, there's no edge to us. There's no edge to our crowd. There's no edge to us. You know, we, do, we actually love... Um, we, lo we love the away fans having a bit of banter with them and sort of getting involved with them but the reality of it is it's just it's football at the end of the day and every club uh, every club's fans wants, wants the best and our, our ambition is to get into the football league and, and see where we go from there yeah, definitely. Do you think there's more passion in the league, National League than there is in the Premier League? I think it's dangerous to say that it's dangerous to say that honestly I, I played at the Premier League for many many years and I think football players at that level because they might drive a fancy car and they have a 
nice house and they've got lots of you know big wage packet the suggestion is then that they don't they don't have the passion but to get to that level you have to have passion work rate committed and, and have a good ethic and I've heard this said that all oh, players at non-league level are fitter they're not trust me honestly <laughs> they're not they're not stronger they're not fitter they're committed don't get me wrong at non-league level but Premier League players are they're a completely different level they're a different animal uh, and that's why you know they don't make mistakes they've got high levels of concentration great fitness great strength uh, but what you see at this level is you feel every tackle and lots more tackles let go so for instance a couple of tackles out here today that would mean red cards in the Premier League so what you see then what sometimes that gets translated as is passion and commitment it's not it's just different levels of refereeing different standards of refereeing different accept, uh, tolerance levels that are accepted but the players at Premier League level we shouldn't be fooled by the fact that they are committed 99% of them there are players at this level, by the way, over the last few years that I've come across who haven't been committed at the level we've been at, at step eight, step seven, well, sorry, I call them different steps, tier eight, tier seven, tier six, there have been players that, you know, haven't been committed, so, you know, these lads here that are running in front of us now, the, your lads and our lads, you know, that they are committed, but, you know, there are some lads at our levels that aren't, this level, sorry, that aren't committed either. Yeah, and just two questions for you, can you see yourself going back into management? No. No. Absolutely not. No, I never. I probably never should have gone into it in the first place. It was a tough job that I took. But no, I, I, I've got so many commitments away from obviously the media side. But we know, with, I, you know, we have a couple of hotels. We have. I primarily look after the football club from the operational side, from the from from the owners. I'm the one that really gets involved. Obviously, Karen and Chris and the uh, Andy Giblin and all the people who are on, you know, the, the sort of everyday stuff. They do the job all the time. But I'm the one that's in contact with them all the time. So I'm really committed to this. Uh, and it's too much and no, I won't be going back into management um, unless you want me to come and manage Chesterfield for a few games and I can just <laughs> n make, make sure you don't win so that we can win <laughs> um, just last question um, you, asked, you lost a bet with Carragher the other day I did lose a bet are you yeah. going to wear the Liverpool no, shirt no I'm not going to wear a Liverpool shirt no. I will wear the Liverpool shirt if he wears the Liverpool shirt on the bet that he knows I had with him so I'm happy to wear it he wants me to wear a Shakiri shirt there's another condition actually I'll wear the Shakiri shirt if Shakiri misses a penalty against Manchester United in the last minute something like that no he, he knew he knew the deal of the bet with me as well and uh, i will wear it if he wears it i will i'm sure he'll present it to me on monday night football we've got a game this week liverpool versus crystal palace on monday night i'm going down to brighton tomorrow morning to watch united and i've got uh, crystal palace v liverpool on monday with him i'm certain he'll bring the shakiri shirt to the studio with him you get this out on monday and i'm telling you he will he will bring that shirt thanks thanks for your time no, well done to you